Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. Four Cap Scaler. All right, so again, I've been getting a lot of questions regarding high dynamic range gaming interest group mode called HGIG. What does the HGIG uh, does? Well, what it does basically, it enhances the contrast, it enhances the highlights of the HDR. What is the one thing that HDR needs? It's brighter highlights, okay, meaning a brighter picture. Now, when you turn it off, and you can find it under the dynamic tone mapping right over here. When you turn it off, uh, maybe I can kind of give you a little glimpse of uh, just how dimmed it becomes when you turn it off. And when you turn it back on, keep an eye over here, right over here, you'll see how brighter everything will become on the highlights over here. Look when I turn it on. Did you see that? And look when I turn it off. Everything becomes dimmed down. When I turn it on, more highlights on the light, ray of light. Now, it's difficult for you to see that through the camera uh, to appreciate just what HGIG does but hopefully this gives you some idea. And people say that the HGIG, it's not supported. Look, it doesn't matter if it's supported or not supported, it still helps. It still helps overall quality. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to use it. And maybe over here I can show you, like there's the sun right there, it's beaming down and it's dimmed it's not as bright as it should be for HDR remember HDR really needs that brightness that that peak brightness so now let's turn the HGIG and you will see just how much brighter the Sun is gonna be why because that's what dynamic range does it gives you that natural picture quality so let, if we turn it on you will see just how much brighter uh, it'll, be, it'll, be, it'll become here so let's turn it on see that much brighter clearly you can see that Sun becoming brighter and that's what you want that's the whole idea of HGIG to really give you that nice uh, high dynamic range greatness and this is a really great feature HGIG I have used HGIG uh, pretty much on let me see I used it on this game I used it on uh, Call of Duty and I have also used it on a uh, Gran Turismo Sport and it seems to work great and yes The Last of Us The Last of Us Part 2 of course it adds, it adds so much to detail man when you use the HGIG so when people say don't use HGIG I say why not that's why it's here why shouldn't you use it if it's gonna help brighten up that HDR why wouldn't you use it I don't understand that 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 logic of not using it you know if it's available use it and here's another great example like right up right over here I use the uh, focal zoom in uh, to to give you a little better uh, explanation on what you are missing because it's really tricky it's really difficult to do this through a camera guys and I'm trying to do my best here through a camera to explain this to you obviously when you see this in person uh, it's a different story um, so I I'm just kind of sick and tired of people asking me about HGIG uh, I'd say use it I mean why not if it's available why wouldn't you use it it's not going to hurt the picture quality. It's only going to help the picture quality. I don't care if it's supported or not supported. It really doesn't matter. Hey, if it's going to help the picture quality, use it. I don't understand. What's the argument? Okay, right now it's dimmed. And of course, the camera cannot depict that. The camera is playing the tricks on you because the camera cannot depict what my own two retina eyes can see in person. But once I turn this on, the HDR becomes brighter. HGIG right over here. Now it's more natural. Now the sun it's actually shining as it should be. And now it's not. And now yes it does. 
I mean, again, I'm, I'm trying to do the best I can to showcase this. But uh, remember, you cannot see it through camera. This is something you have to see with your own two retina eyes in person. This is why I keep, te keep telling people, when you see this television in person, when you experience this uh, C10 OLED in person, then you understand, ah, oh, I, I see what Mr. 4K is talking about. I get it now. You know, you're not gonna get it through looking at this video. I'm just doing this as a credibility uh, because I do have the TV. So that way people don't think I'm just talking out of my butt. Uh, I actually like to talk about something while I'm actually explaining it, that I have television, that I'm testing it, and I'm letting you know you should use HGIG. Why wouldn't you? Why would I turn it off and have a dim HDR when I can have brighter HDR? So use it. So anyway, I hope this video helps you out a little bit. Uh, I'm, I'm really trying to do my best here, like I said earlier, to explain this. And um, even though I tried to explain this, even though I already made about three or four videos regarding HGIG, some people are saying, hey man, you know, you shouldn't be using the HGIG because uh, it doesn't support the game. I went to Call of Duty and supposedly Call of Duty supports it. And it's the same results as uh, Ghost of Tsushima. If LG didn't want you to use the HGIG, you wouldn't be able to use it. It would not be highlighted for you to use it. Uh, look, HGIG will work whether the game is supported or not supported. I already tested a few games. It works. I've tested on The Last of Us. It definitely enhances the uh, the brightness on HDR. I've tested it on Ghost of Tsushima here. definitely enhances. I've tested it on uh, Gran Turismo, Call of Duty. It works. All I'm trying to say is, why wouldn't you use it? If it's available, use it. Okay, unless you want to watch a dimmed HDR like this, where the the sun it's just flat and it's turned off and you don't see any ray of lights, you don't see any tracings of lights. Now you do see it when you turn it on. That's the idea. Okay, so I hope this video, once and for all, for all explains the HGIG that yes, it works. You can use it. Just turn it on, leave it on. Okay. All right, you're going to see those highlights on certain scenes, on certain parts of the game. But leave it on, okay? Under dynamic tone mapping, leave it on. All right, thank you for watching. Cheers. Have a good one.